In this lesson, we're going to take a quick look at systems of inequalities. We have already graphed them, and a few things to remember are less than or equal to and greater than or equal to are, if it is a number line, a solid dot, or a solid line, and if it is less than or greater than, it is an open circle or a dashed line. So a quick refresher about graphing. We did this last week. We have my y-intercept and we have my slope and slope. And these will help me to determine how these lines are gonna work. And we'll talk about how to shade in a second. So first we're gonna graph our lines. Y is greater than or equal to, so solid line, 2 thirds X plus three. So plus three and 2 thirds means up to to the right three. And I'm just going to give myself another, so down two to the left three, give myself another point so my line is actually straight or as best as I can. And the other one is y is greater than negative four thirds x minus three. So I have negative three and negative four thirds. It doesn't look like I can go down four, so I'm going to go up four. One, two, three, four and to the left three, one, two, three. So they share a common point, and this is a dashed line. Now we need to talk about where we have to shade. So we have to do two separate tests. Neither of these lines have zero as a point, so I can use zero as my test point. Zero is greater than or equal to two thirds times zero is just zero. Zero is greater than three, wrong. Remember that is this top line. So since it was incorrect, I'm going to shade above this line. If you have the use of colored pencils, I would suggest using them now. I'm going to use a different color and a shading tool. So that means I shade this side of this line. That doesn't necessarily mean that's where I'm going to shade for the whole thing. The other line, if I plug in 0, 0, I get zero is greater than negative four thirds times zero is just zero, negative three. Is zero greater than negative three? Yes. That means I'm going to shade this side of this line because that's the side that contains zero. And we'll use blue. And what I'm looking for is this overlapped portion. So in this case, what I'd be looking for is this to all be shaded in or to have that overlap of color. All right, so there is one example where it's already set into slope intercept form. We have varying degrees of complexity, but some just take a couple extra steps. So for example, seven is four uh, X plus Y is less than two. Another small thing we need to keep note of is if I multiply or divide by a negative, I must flip the sign. The other line is y is greater than negative 2. So this is a one step. This is really y is less than 4x, sorry, negative 4x plus 2. And I'm going to graph that one first. So y is less than negative 4x plus 2, so plus 2. And negative 4 means down 4 to the right one. And we have our line. It is going to be a dashed line. And then y is greater than negative 2. So that is a dashed line that goes through negative 2 that is horizontal. So I already know I'm going to be shading above because 0 is greater than negative 2. And I could plug in 0 into this. 0 plus 0 is less than 2. Is that a true statement? Yes. That means I'm going to shade this sign. And if I look where the arrows are pointing towards each other, I see that this arrow and this arrow are pointing to the same region. So it is all of this that gets shaded. So I'm going to stop the video here and ask that you try this and have it done ready for class. We'll go over it at the start and then I'll give you your assignment. If you have any questions, please let me know.